What is the deal with kids and Prime? My six-year-old is asking basically daily to drink Prime because all his friends do it and they all have random swag from Prime. Looks like an energy drink to me, so automatic no for a six-year-old? Are all the other parents just insanely neglectful or am I missing something? Edit for those you that seem not to know, there is Prime Energy Drink which is like a Red Bull and is in a can. There is also a Gatorade-like drink in a bottle, no caffeine. The kids at this school are drinking the sugary Gatorade drink and they are all sharing it around. I'm not the kind of parent handing out sugary drinks and it sounds like a little culture is forming at the school. I may suggest the teachers look into it if I get more stories of kids bartering with it at all for the replies here. Edit 2 front page, OK. I stopped replying to comments around the 500 mark. The consensus in the end here is that Logan Paul is a douche, kids watch too much YouTube, and advertising to children should be illegal. Also, just don't buy Prime. No really, just don't drink Prime. Edit 3 Don't Drink Prime Prime was banned from my daughter's school because kids were using it like prison currency. Urk it's a drink owned by Logan Paul and KSI who are pushing it on kids to drink. Tastes awful, but I'm not the demographic. These kids should be drinking high-quality H2O. Fucking YouTube. Fucking Logan Paul and KSI. Fucking YouTube. It's an expensive trend drink. Kids want it because it's marketed to them on YouTube by the creators. They were YouTube influencers to kids first, and then started selling the drink to their fans. It's a popularity drink where kids have to have it because it's the best. It's marketed to children young people partly. Just like cigarettes were at a certain point. The Prime brand actually has two different lines. Energy drinks with caffeine. Sports drinks with electrolytes. Neither taste especially good compared to their competitors, and are overpriced. There was a lot of hype for them on social media about six months ago and limited supplies, leading to bottles being sold for up to a hundred times their RRP. Target audience for such purchases was presumably people who wanted to be seen drinking it on TikTok. But the hype has largely died down and supermarkets are now having difficulty even selling the stuff. Kids are overly susceptible to social media pressure and one of the biggest influencers created a huge ad campaign for their new product that is also being boosted by other influencers to distract people from his multi-million dollar scam that he pulled on his fans a year or so ago. And it worked. The Pauls are all social media scum snake oil salesmen and I'm surprised that they've managed to last this long. S-tier grifters. I have four kids, ranging from 12 5 and I opened this thinking you meant Amazon Prime LMAO I barely even let my kids have soda. And 90 of the time, it's Sprite weary face. I mean yeah there are bad parents. Because kids are the only people who actually look up to and put the Paul brothers on a pedestal. The hydration drink does not contain caffeine. It's primarily coconut water. What you're inquiring about is the newer energy drink, which does contain 200 mg from just caffeine, then B12, L-theanine and taurine. It's not recommended for kids, even though their demographic is the one being targeted for advertising. Just YouTube babysitting kids and doing its job pushing product on them. Because the influencers kids think are the coolest people on earth are marketing it and advertising it to those kids, so the kids need to have it because it's really cool and awesome. Overpriced drink that apparently isn't good at all, but it's not the unhealthiest drink out there. Just get him one in the worst flavor, maybe he'll stop begging IDK I'm not a mom. I bought my kids prime hydration at Sam's or of those. It was a big deal for about a week and now they don't request it anymore. They basically figured out that it's not the holy aren't bugging me anymore about it because it's like, been there done that. Sometimes you just let them decide for themselves as long as it's not dangerous and I don't want them to feel like they're missing out on some big thing. What else do you expect coming from a product associated with Logan Paul? IDK anything about Prime except that it's pushed by Paul Jake Logan, and according to YouTube the potassium content is way too high. It was founded by the Paul brothers Jake and Logan Paul. 
popular among kids but really horrible horrible people. A quick Google and ad controversies and it'll explain everything. Teacher here, one of the Paul brothers owns it and every YouTuber is sponsored by the company. So whenever they watch their favorite YouTuber they're probably shilling it and they wanna be just like them. There's a regular Gatorade style version outside of the caffeine one and there are rare flavors which kids go nuts over. I hate that I know so much about this. Don't buy anything that comes from Logan Paul, same with his brother. One of those idiot Paul brothers YT idiots owns it and it's pimped on a lot of kid-friendly YT channels. My sons beg for it and always get my wife to cave and buy them one each. They know better than to even ask me. Grade school kids are obsessed with it. My son's primary school in the UK had to send message to all parents asking them not to give their kids energy drinks for school so, something somewhere is going wrong. You have to be 18 to buy them here as well. I checked the bottle before, the non-caffeine one in the bottle is just flavored water there's actually very little sugar or anything in it, so it isnt unhealthy for them. It's a load of nonsense though, kids are just seduced because those dickhead YouTubers own it. I'd say the caffeinated energy drink is good stuff though for the adults, same caffeine as a can of monster and the flavors are probably good, haven't had it yet. There are non-caffeinated versions. But also parents how you need to. There's a caffeinated kind and an electrolyte kind. My kids are obsessed too. It's annoying because it's so expensive. They probably see other kids with it on YouTube. I wouldn't drink it nor allow kids to drink it on principle alone based on the owners of the company. Blessed are the primes. Also YouTubers with young audiences advertise it relentlessly. It's a fad. Like yo-yos or tamagotchi or happy slapping. This too shall pass. Social media initiated the downfall of humanity. It's garbage water don't buy it. There's prime energy energy drink, not for kids and prime hydration basically like Gatorade, safe for kids. Hydration is what the kids are drinking. Prime doesn't have a lot of sugar. Same reason why I seen parents let kids get frap at Spucks. Kids want something and parents say okay. Easily the worst marketing they did was to make them prime hydration and prime energy. They pushed the hell out of this stuff and pushed themselves into a market that there really was a place for them with Powerade and Gatorade already dominate. But the mistake of creating all this concern for kids, and an easy road for parents and people to complain about it because they aren't separate enough was a huge oversight. Prime in a can bad for kids, prime in a bottle like Gatorade okay for kids, but like anything else don't go overboard. My fiancé ex-wife, the kid's mother, gives them prime 6-9 and I think it's outrageous, but some parents just don't care. It is becoming a trend so of course every kid wanna get the next thing that is trending. I hate that taste, but my kids and spouse love it. It costs way too much because everyone wants it. Like Cabbage Patch Kids in the 1980s. Watch Food Theories videos on both prime formulations. Overall it they're great for children just because of the salt and electrolyte content. It's probably way too high for them. Obviously the caffeine is awful for growing minds too. Generally speaking anything the Logan brothers do makes me second guess, or at least gently mistrust his project since he's been in scandal after scandal. Anything involving food or drink to me. I half expect a lawsuit. I don't think they'll be insanely harmful to kids the non-caffeinated ones but I'd have them only ever as treats and one-offs. I've got an 8 years old who wanted some a while back, I said no. They can't drink booze so they find alternatives. Jolt Cola and Vanilla Coke are staples of my childhood. Also Star Wars Episode 1 Pepsi themed cans. Shout out to Orbits and Snapple Elements. It's the new Supreme. I'm from Europe and first I don't know what Prime is, but initially I thought you were talking about Optimus Face with Tears of Joy. I think it tastes great. But probably not the thing you want to give to six-year-olds the energy drink version.